speaking with base punk uh, one of the premier nft projects on base network uh, yeah, right. thank you for joining the spaces So we'll be speaking with them uh, regarding NFTs, NFTs on base, uh, what they are building and many other things. While we are waiting for them to join, uh, let me uh, tell you about Metapath. So Metapath is a, a Web3 aggregator. It's, a, it's an NFT aggregator. It's a token aggregator. It's an aggregator of everything Web3. So your NFTs, your uh, tokens, your gamify assets, your metaverse assets, all of them are at one place and uh, uh, you can uh, do various things with them. So uh, let, let's say if you want to swap between two different currency, one on Ethereum, one on Solana or Base or any other chain, you can do that using the swap tool on Metapath. Uh, if you want to buy an NFT on Ethereum using uh, currency on hex network or any other network you can do that so let's say you hold a sale token and then you want to buy a board a bad punk so you can direct do that with uh, the with, with with our nft marketplace or nft aggregator uh, you can also uh, use ai to find out the nft collections that best suit the uh, requirements of yours uh, so you you you, uh, you can go and ask questions like you know how can i get an nft collection that has uh, xyz or something like that and it will give you an answer all of this is available at metapath.me m e t a p a t h dot me if you are a chat gpt pro user you can use metapath plugin uh, to do analysis around nft and web3 as well so you know just open the metapath plugin and then you can ask questions like uh, which collection has the highest volume in last six months and lowest flow uh, flow flow price or something like that and that would uh, give you an analysis without having to go through a lot of data and do it, doing all that analysis yourself so uh, yeah that's about metapath currently we are waiting for our partners at base punk to join Meanwhile, I think we can speak about some of the recent NFT news. So every week at Metapath, we publish uh, NFT weekly news where we share what is happening in the NFT world uh, in that week. So we share that in uh, on, on every Monday. So here are a few updates from last week. So there is a new standard called ERC7160 that enhances NFT fun functionality significantly. Uh, it can uh, allow NFT to link to multiple metadata indicators uh, and it supports various files like JPG, PNG, MP4, and like up to 300 MB. So now NFTs are not just a single snippet with 300 M uh, MB, it can be a whole album, it can be a uh, 10, 15 minute movie uh, and, and, and things like that. So now such things can be also minted on chain and uh, people can do various things with them. And this really enhances the utility of NFT. In future, we might see uh, a Netflix-like platform where there are shows of 20 minutes, 21 minutes, uh, 25 minutes uh, that being online and on chain where uh, users can uh, where, 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 where there will be a decentralized platform like Netflix and users can buy an NFT and then watch that movie and things like that. I think we have a speaker with us, Base. I'm going to invite them to speak.
Yes, yes, we can hear you. Can you hear me now? Hello. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Um, sorry. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm sorry about the delay. I was having technical issues. Yeah, no worries. All good. Uh, so, uh, you know, we have already shared a bit about what you guys are doing at Wastepunk. So can you like start with brief introduction of yours and how you got involved in this project? Yeah, thank you. So first of all, um, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Rani and I am a team member of Basepunk, um, the project advisor and community manager. So, um, our founder is like an NFT enthusiast that has been building projects in the past. And Basepunk is like one of the projects that he has developed. So I was able to work with him and partner with him to build this project because myself and him were like NFT enthusiasts and also builders of projects. Having worked with a lot of projects in the past. So we have like a lot of experience and we decided to build something that is very unique on Basepunk. So uh, on base chin rather so that that was what brought about the idea of this book yeah awesome thank you so much so uh you know for uh people you know you know let's start from Hi, the guys. beginning heather can you hear us yeah so let's start from the beginning uh yeah yeah heather Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Can you explain what NFTs are and, uh, uh, you know, what is your vision, uh, you know, vision behind NFTs? Where do you see NFTs going in future? Hello. Um, so I think we can hear you now. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you guys hear me now? Awesome. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. So awesome. Uh, can you please share about, you know, what are NFTs and what is your vision with NFTs? Um, can you share your question again? So what exactly are NFTs and what is, you know, your vision with NFTs? I'm, I'm not speaking about base punk, but I'm speaking about, you know, in general with NFTs. Okay, yeah, so NFTs, like we already know, are non fungible tokens, right? Unlike um, your crypto that are fungible, your NFTs are non fungible, which means they are used to like represent these unique ownerships of assets in such a way that you cannot um, exchange your NFT with another NFT, right? They are unique to the owners. So um, NFTs have been able to provide this value to holders of different kinds of assets, right? And the vision behind NFTs is to um, revolutionize the way we think about ownership and value in the digital world. So NFTs allow the creators to tokenize and sell their digital collections, such as your artwork, your music, your um, whatever creative thing you can make that is unique to you. NFT will, NFTs will like provide an avenue for you to be able to sell these products to people as non-fungible tokens. So basically the idea of base punk NFT is to give value to people using our own form of art, which is um, the PFP art. I hope that has been to answer your question. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much for that answer. Uh, now let's talk a bit more about Basepunk. So what was the inspiration behind Basepunk? Like, you know, how did you arrive to the creation of Basepunk? Okay, yeah, so initially the idea of Basepunk was not um, just to build an NFT project. We we saw Basechain as an opportunity for us to um, give out an amazing product to real NFT um, enthusiasts and crypto enthusiasts as well. So we decided to make something that is unique and, you know, limited so we can have like a high demand for this product, why the value goes up in order to, 
profit our community members. So we decided to start with NFTs. And obviously, just like other um, amazing NFT projects that have been in the past, like CryptoPunks, um, BasePunks, sorry, CryptoPunks, Polygon Punks, we had uh, <clears throat> Apes NFTs and NFTs across different chain, and we saw how successful they were, right? So we saw base chain as, a, as an opportunity for us to create a collection as well that will be unique to that chain and at the same time will be like the OG NFT of the whole ecosystem. So that is basically the plan behind BasePunk. BasePunk aims to be the best NFT project on base chain. Yes, I mean, that's really good. Uh, can you please mute yourself when you are not speaking? What did you say? Can you please mute yourself when you are not speaking? Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, awesome. So, uh, you know, that's really good. You, you know, we have all heard uh, about the stories of uh, CryptoPunk and, you know, Polygon Punk and, 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 and things like that. So definitely BasePunk will, 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 will take off and do very well. Uh, what are some of the challenges, uh, you know, some of the specific challenges in the NFT market that's, that, that, you know, BasePunk aims to address? Uh, can you please share a bit more light on that? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I really like this question because <clears throat> on many spaces that I've spoken on, um, I think many hosts tend to um, ignore this question. What are we hoping to address as an NFT project on this chain? Yeah, so the first thing I would like to say is that um, there have been a lot of NFT projects like since the inception of NFTs, there have been a lot of NFT projects and I'm um, sorry to say this, there have been a lot of shitty projects as well, you know, projects without utilities. They are basically just PFPs that you just buy to, you know, um, flip the floor price and probably make profit. Although in the midst of all these NFT collection, there have been few blue chip NFTs that we can all agree on. And, and the reason why these NFT projects were able to stand for that long was because they had utility. So that is where BasePunk comes in, right? Like I said earlier, we saw base chain as, a, as an opportunity for us to, um, to build on an ecosystem that is new and has like a lot of promises. So, and for us to do that, we have to create something that is unique that has not been done before. Obviously, we are not the only NFT project on base chain, but what makes us different from other NFT projects on base chain was, was the fact that we already have a working system. We have we have utility, we have plants, and we've been able to cover about 70% of our roadmap. Um, currently now, we have our Web3, um, the app, which has been used to incentivize our holders for every activity they perform on our the app. They are able to earn points. They, have, um, they, they can launch NFTs on our the app. There is a feature where you can swap your tokens to other things. So we believe that creating something that is unique, creating a utility for our project, we'll be able to um, get rid of the stereotype that NFT projects are not what's old. In NFT projects are not um, long-term projects that you can you can um, invest your money in. So BasePunk promises to be more than just a PFP project. We promise to give value to our community and hopefully we'll bring back more NFT enthusiasts um, into the crypto space and also um, especially on BaseChain. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. So uh, why did you select the base chain? What are some of the advantages that base chain offered in compared to, let's say, you know, recently very popular chains like Arbitrum, Sui and, and things like that? What was the reason behind picking the base chain and what are some of the advantages of base chain? Okay. Yeah. So um, I'm very sure everybody on this space knows about base chain and how base chain is um, connected to Coinbase, right? So <clears throat> there have been a lot of L2s of Ethereum. We had Arbitrum. We had, I think, um, um, ZK Sync. And then we have base chain now. Ethereum is probably the most um, utilized blockchain out there. And as a result of the security and um, scalability of Ethereum, Base chain has been able to um, leverage on this advantage, and we believe that with the um, backing of Coinbase to Base chain, 
and the security of Ethereum altogether while providing access to these products with very low fees and easy um, transaction for the holder. So I believe this chain is going to be like the, the best chain for us to build on because it is, it is cheaper, it is secure, and it is more scalable than any other chain out there. So yeah, obviously this chain is, is the best for us. Awesome. Thank you so much for your answer. Uh, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, which, like, you know, there are, uh, so I saw your NFTs and there are lots of different trades and they really look cool. Even your logo, you know, the NFT that is in your logo that looks really cool. Uh, so, yeah, I just uh, love the NFTs or the and, and the art that you have built and I know those NFTs can be used as a, uh representation or, or or your digital identity which is really good utility but is there anything uh you know else in terms of ut utility are you guys working on something that will uh you know deliver more value to the holders of the base punk yeah so um the first thing that we did after minting out our nft collection was to build our Web3 Social D app. In case um, you guys have not seen it, you can check our website on our profile or you can join our Discord and you can see the link to all our socials and um, our Web3 D app. So yeah, the first utility that we decided to offer to our community was a way to incentivize them for holding our NFTs. So which means while, your, um, while the value of your NFT continues to appreciate with time, you also earn points on our web three social media app if you if you utilize this app and this means those points that you're earning can be converted to our native token that we're going to be launching in q1 of next year hopefully january or february right so on this our social media app the first advantage that our nft holders have is the fact that um they get to mint these our domains for free originally if um, someone that is not holding our NFT wants to mint our domain, he has to pay um, a very little amount of Ethereum, although our holders have the access to mint um, domains for free. Um, also, we have these features on our app where our holders are able to mint their posters, NFTs, right? And they can sell these NFTs as well. We have a section in our Web3 app where um, our holders can also launch you know, small collections of NFTs if they wish to launch. So that is like a, a launch pad for them. We also have this swap feature where they can swap between tokens without having to, you know, utilize other the apps like Uniswap or PancakeSwap. They can easily just swap between assets like USDT, Ethereum, um, USDC, base chain on our Web3 app. So we believe that being able to build this team in less than one month after minting our collection we have like so much to offer to our community and this is just like the beginning right so we the team we are currently working behind the scene to offer more value to add more features to our web 3d app and at the same time we're working towards launching our token which we are going to um, also airdrop a portion of our token to our holders um, and this is coupled with the amount of tokens they already have from utilizing our web 3 social media app so the list goes on and on and we continue working to make sure that we um, we continue to encourage our holders to continue holding their NFT and at the same time, we continue to incentivize them. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much for that answer. Now, you know, I, I see you guys as one of the leaders in base NFTs or, or the NFT ecosystem of the base. Uh, what are your thoughts about the current uh, uh, growing industry or growing NFT uh, market on base. How do you see the ecosystem evolving in the base? Uh, what are some of the coolest things that uh, you are seeing in the base NFT market? Yeah, so like I said earlier, um, base punk is not the only NFT project on base chain, right? So I've seen a lot of NFT project on base chain, although what um, I feel like what is going to set us apart from other chain, what is going to set the base chain NFT ecosystem apart from other chain is the value that they offer, the, the kind of utility that they, they give to their community, and also the, the, the uniqueness of their artwork, right? So you cannot just 
just make any um, artwork that does not really have content or quality and then you expect people to be you know hyped up about this nft collection and mint it or you don't have any utility to offer and you expect people to mint them right so if you look at other chains that have utilities with with volumes and value like ethereum for example they have a lot of um big nft projects that we can look at and draw inspiration from on base chain as well so um base chain being a new chain right base chain is still very young so there's a lot of promise on the chain and with the amount with the amount of volume that, that increases every day the training volume on base chain keeps increasing um it's i believe it is also a good sign that um we're going to see more nft projects emerging by next year and hopefully we're able to build this hype um around base chain by creating unique artwork that are going to like stand out from just ordinary um nft projects so i believe if the builders that are coming to base chain are able to do all of these things we surely would see growth in the nft ecosystem on base awesome thank you so much for that answer um, now I, I i i saw your on your roadmap on, on that roadmap uh you have mentioned a token called bpunk uh can you share about that uh, can you share more about that token and also there was a mention of nft marketplace can you share more about the token and the nft marketplace that you guys are building okay yeah so like i said on our roadmap we are like um 70% done with the amount of um things that are listed there so regarding the token i said um our token will be launching q1 of next year probably january or february we are going to be launching our native token which is bpunk right um we are setting our total supply at 1 billion and i think mm -hmm. if i'm correct 10% of that supply is going to be um as an airdrop to our holders we have just 2222 mm -hmm. nfts so you can imagine 10% of the supply goes to our holders as airdrop right and also people that use our ecosystem people that are minting our domain using the um the app to chat to send message to post to swap to do whatever interaction they do they end these points right so once this token launches they're also going to earn a part of it and when we talk about our um, marketplace that we wanted to launch we are still working on that so like I said, we are we are working towards adding more features to our um, social the app, right? We want to launch this marketplace where both NFT projects and tokens on base chain can just easily launch their tokens, have pre-sales and and stuff like that, right? So that is currently in works. But at the moment, the um, features that are on the platform that are working currently is the um, the features for swapping, launching of small collections of NFTs, um, chatting, minting posts as NFTs, and minting of domain names. So these are what we currently have right now. Although for the launch pad or the marketplace, we are working towards that. And hopefully by Q1 next year, it will also be ready. Awesome. Thank you so much. So uh, there is something called base punk chat, and I think you all, uh, you mentioned that as well. Uh, so what role does the base punk chat play in the project? And, uh, you know, how does it enhance the social ex experience of the users or the NFT holders? Yeah, that's a very good question, right? So um, I would urge everybody on this page to check our Web3 social media app. Just go to our website and check it you see we have our holders utilizing it every day they post every day just like um the way twitter is right so we have people posting every day posting gifs posting um just normal random you know stuffs minting nfts and like a whole lot of things is going on there right you should be there to see it now the role that this um what we social media plays for base punk is very very essential because that is where our utility um started from right so we started from building it as just a chat or like a web three social platform, right? So then we started adding features to it, like the launch pad feature, the swapping feature. So we continue building on this social app and adding more features to make it even better for our holders, right? So 
base punk chart is essentially in the center of all the development of base punk and and in the future like it's going to be really really big and i'm just i would just like to say that people that are in early on base punk are going to be really grateful that they were able to get in early before every other person so base punk is very very young now and it has a very promising future so i would urge everybody to to check our website check our web tv app and see the amount of work that has been going on behind the scene and they should watch out for us next year awesome thank you so much yeah definitely we are looking forward to what you guys are building and uh, your launch in next year uh, i would love to uh, grab one of the base punk and have it as my profile picture forever uh, because they just look so cool and they just feel so good uh, so uh, and and it's 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 not just about art there is a lot of product and innovation happening behind that as well so that's just awesome uh, so what long term you know what are some of the long term strategies so let's say you know you told me all this stuff. uh i am uh, already a fan of base punk and i would love to you know go grab one uh, but yeah, as 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 let's say a community member or a very recently made community member i want to know let's what are some of the long long term strategies that you guys have in place for growth and community engagement bringing more people like me who would love to just go and grab a base punk yeah so um there are a lot of plans that have been set aside right for the long term growth of the um base punk community so i'm basically just going to like list out just a few that are currently going on now right so first is the incentivization of our community for people to hold this nft they need something that will be like a promise to them right so what do we do we we provide a platform for them to interact with in order to earn free money which is our our social the app right so when you post on twitter right especially for small accounts you do not get incentivized but when you use um base punk chats to post you don't actually need followers, right? You just need to just post. And for every post you, you, you make every day, you get these points, right? You get points. And I feel like the points are like unlimited. You can, you can make as much posts as you can without spamming, obviously. So you can make these posts in order to end these points. And when the token launches, you're going to get free token for just making posts on the social media. So this is just like a simple method to keep people... Um, people from selling their nft this helps them to hold their nft and also provides an avenue for them to gain value so while these are our holders are holding the nft obviously the floor price will continue to grow as we continue to give more value to the community and continue to um add more utilities so we are still working on a lot of things behind the scene and we're trying to um bring more things on board like launch pads uh, marketplaces ECC, you can name them. So we're trying to bring all these stuffs on board and make base punk really, really big on base chain where um where a new product, like a new project that's trying to launch on base chain would have to like reach out to all the oh, I need your launch pad, I need your marketplace to launch my collection. So this would obviously help us to continue to grow in the long term. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rani. Uh thank you so much for joining the spaces today. Uh, we love to we we uh, we loved hearing from you. We loved hearing about Base Punk. It was great having a conversation with you. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining the spaces. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Awesome, hey everyone! Thank you so much for listening in. If you are listening on Twitter or if you are listening later on YouTube, thank you so much for joining the spaces. Uh, go give a follow to Base Punk and. Uh, uh, you know, follow that announcement. Be sh- be sure when they are launching the token, uh, w- when they are launching the NFTs. Awesome, everyone! Thank you so much. We do this every week. We'll see you next week. Thank you.